Hello and welcome back to the channel and today you join me for this week's Forza Thun guide called Old Red which wants you to own and drive the 1971 Myers Manx to complete all of the challenges with. So without further ado let's go and get stuck in and take a look at the car we'll be using. Now this is a car in question, you can't unfortunately purchase it from the auto show, you may be able to get one from the auction house but I believe it is available in this week's Forza Thun shop if you have enough points. Now I have created a tune, it's called Forzathon, the share code is 127931055 and you will need a tune for some of these challenges. The first one here wants you to win on the Baja California Trail, now that is a dirt race located here on the left hand side of the map by Junas Blancas, uh, it's really easy to do, just to show you some context of everything around it and the exact location. Now I have created a sort of tri um, a blueprint. Sorry for this. It's called Baja California Trail Forzathon, and the share code is three four one three one zero eight one one. Now what I've done is obviously taken the AI out of the equation, so you don't have to go absolutely flying through it. You can sort of take your time if you really wish to. But like I said, if you want to get it over and done with quickly, I recommend using a tune. This one's pretty nippy um, and it will get the race done in about two and a bit minutes. Uh, so very easy first challenge. Now, the second challenge here wants you to earn three kangaroo skills at the Junas Blancas region, which is pretty much where we are anyway when you finish the race. So as you can see there, that's where I am at the end of the race and the Junas Blancas area is just here above it. Now a kangaroo skill is three air skills in quick succession, so it's really easy to do. Now a couple of methods to this, obviously one of them is going fully flat out everywhere across all the dunes and you will eventually obviously get the kangaroo skills, but if you go a little slower, i.e. under 100 mile an hour for each jump, then you'll spend less time in the air and your skill chain will still be around, so to speak, by the time you land and it will make life easier to count up all three of those air skills. Either way, it's not a massive difference. Getting three of those kangaroo skills will literally take you no more than a minute, minute and a half max. There's lots of jumps to do here. I'm at the top half of it here. Um, as you can see, there are a lot of little sort of dunes, which are really good to get three air skills in quick succession. But like I said, really easy to get a kangaroo skill. You don't need to be going super fast for this challenge uh, in order to complete it. Now the last challenge here wants you to earn two stars on the Dust Bowl Speed Trap and again this is in the Junas Blancas region as you can see here. Now two stars on here is only 100 mile an hour which is super easy to do especially with this tune. Now you don't have to start as far back as I have if you've got it tuned, um, in fact I probably gave it way too much of a run up. Um, either way though this car will get up to 100 mile an hour super quickly, it's got off-road uh, off tyres so you won't have a problem gaining speed up here. In fact we actually hit 3 stars and above 3 stars sorry we hit 155 mile an hour. Either way though that's that final challenge smashed, it's super easy to do. Uh, so all in all this week's Falls of Thumb will probably take you about 6 or 7 minutes, it's really really quick and easy. But of course if you are struggling with any of the challenges then please do let me know down below in the comments and I'm more than happy to help you guys out as best as I can. If you're new to this channel, I'd very much appreciate if you could subscribe. And if this video did help you out, dropping a like massively helps me out as well. But apart from that, folks, I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and take care.